I am from the Philippines. I am from Phoenix. Together, Together we're, we're Phil's Phil to Phoenix. Phoenix. Two countries. One heart. And welcome, welcome to, to our, our series today. About weekly and it's about, about miscommunications. miscommunications. Well, naingon pa ka. <laughs> we've had some pretty doozy miscommunications in the three years we've been together. Yeah. Uh, and they started almost from the day we got together. <laughs> that we actually tried to do this uh, a couple days ago and we're having miscommunication enough <laughs> that we actually abandoned that one and are going for a take two now. <laughs> and you brought up one that was that happened in the Philippines that I was... That you forgot? What was it that I was looking for? You're looking for a bench. I was looking for a bench. And <coughs> they just call them chair. They don't call them a bench. <laughs> well, at least she didn't think of it. But what they do have instead is a bench store. store. <laughs> that it's a clothing store? Yes, it's more of cologne. It's both men and women. It's like Forever 21 style. And so when I asked her for a bench, she found the store and took me to the store. And I said, there, and I pointed out, there, there's a bench. So <laughs> I pointed my mouth. It was something that, <coughs> even though English is, is uh, an official language in the Philippines, and Cindy's English is actually outstanding as compared to a lot of Filipinos. Thank you. A lot of the words just aren't necessarily the same words that we use. <laughs> Filipino English. How can I say? One of the other ones happened like right after you got here within a couple days. I was out in the garage doing something I'm not sure. I think I was wearing in a, uh, a new switch for our garage door remote. And I asked Cindy to go grab my slippers. Yes. I'll grab that slippers. And it took her a few more minutes to come back and I told her they were under the bed. And when she came back, she handed me these. <laughs> and I stopped and looked at her, and, and as I did, she just kind of pushed them a little further. Slippers. I said, I want my slippers. Slippers. And, and she handed them to me more. And at that point, I didn't understand that, that those are slippers. That what I was expecting were these. <laughs> Those are not slippers. Those are shoes. So. Zapatos. In the, in the end, it kind of worked out kind of funny because uh, when I asked her what she called those, Chanel's she told me slippers. 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 And so I kind of snickered about it and said, well, here in the U.S. they're normally called flip-flops. And like I say, her English is normally really good and uh, but she hadn't been here three days. Flip flops. And it either came out flip flop or flip flop. Flip flops. Flip flops. Flip flops. <laughs> the harder she tried, the worse it got. And, and so we just kind of started snickering. Pinay. So ever since we've had. Pinay slippers. And Kano slippers. <laughs> but there's been other times that we've had. And, communication issues that we haven't noticed it real early that one of us has said something and the other one interpreted it using their base interpretation. not realizing the other person's interpretation. interpretation was different yeah and sometimes that can make for some real bad struggles it, but we've learned to kind of recognize when something doesn't appear quite right with the interpretation. <laughs> eh. We've also learned that if we're not terribly sure the person's getting it, to just ask. Yeah. yeah did, did, can you explain to me what I just said? <laughs> That's true. Uh, That's for sure. And a lot of it's just coming down to compromise, too. The more often than not, we have a ref and a chiller instead of a fridge and freezer. Yeah, we have a ref and a chiller. You figure it uh, out. Because I was a ref, not fridge. When I also asked, when I also shared that story with my friend, like, okay, I'll bring the cake in the ref. I'm like, what's ref? And I said, refrigerator, shortcut for refrigerator. 
Raff. I'm like, okay, we'll call it fridge. I'm like, hmm. Ref is short than fridge. But if you tell people ref here, that they're going to ask you, well, who, who's the umpire for the game? That they're thinking referee. <laughs> I never thought of that. I just thought of that today. Thank you for bringing it up. Uh, what were some of the other more fun ones we had? We have a lot. That, and a lot of times the way they pronounce things are, are going to be different enough that it can sometimes be the a little bit of a struggle. And bad bitter and bad -ter. Bad, better and bad -ter. <laughs> Bitter and better. Yes, I have. Are, are, are indistinguishable. I have a hard time with that, even until now. Better, bitter, Andy. Oh. Better life, bitter, like. Like. It does not taste good, look, just bitter. Bitter pa'it! Okay, it's pa'it in Cebuano. And sometimes that's what we've learned to do, is just... Speak my language. Uh, and that's actually helping teaching me some of the uh, Cebuano Bisayan to, to learn. Yeah. And... It's just funny, though, like, though I'm learning the language itself, I have the pro using the proper pronouns proper you know using it in grammar but it always complicate complicate because we normally have those miscommunication about he she is a he girl or he boy is a he she or he you know it makes sense when you emphasize that philippines and i don't believe any of the philippines languages have gender pronouns they don't have he she it they have sia yes or sila it's just Sia, yeah. Well, don't you also use Sila for something? Sila, but, Sia, Sila, yeah. But they're they're gender neutral. That that it doesn't matter if it's boy girl. And if there's not enough context to tell you, you'll just say Sia, Lalaki. Yeah. But you know they, they'll identify it. You know that that girl, that boy. That's true. And <laughs> so. Because of that, he, she, it is like really confusing. That's true. And sometimes also did you observe that I normally use the brand name? That's how I say, oh, it was a Colgate. And then I mean, I'm referring to a toothpaste. And then, hey, I want to, you know what I mean? Most of the time I'm referring to the brand and you're like, what did you say? And like, we call it like Colgate, but I'm referring to toothpaste. Yes, that one came up a few times. I'd, I'd forgotten about that. The, um, yeah, Colgate doesn't necessarily mean Colgate toothpaste. toothpaste. It, it just means toothpaste Tooth in general. Yeah, but in the general, because it's so popular back home, we call it Colgate. I want Colgate, Colgate, but it's just the toothpaste. But in all honesty, we do that a lot here, too. <laughs> Even the um, the tissue paper, we the joy is the name of the tissue paper that's popular sometimes we forget oh joy and like it's the tissue the brand of the tissue like we name the brand name then the generic name itself or you know what's it called that pronoun or what's it called that the name let's say the toothpaste the what are those it's a noun it's a noun but it's of just course, a it's a noun well you're, you're calling it by a proper noun oh the, yeah the name of the yeah the proper the noun, brand name just a noun um, I, do, I, I don't really like English before I was studying. I normally have like 88. My lowest grade in English is 88 or 90. And then I like more of numbers, math, and science, but I'm struggling with English. A lot of Americans struggle with English. <laughs> with the he, she, the past tense proof. Oh, no, we get that one. I, yeah, because that was the other thing is past tense Present tense, and we, I, I normally, you observe Tenses that. don't work well. The, the future present tense. We'd time. often be in the middle of a task or, and or doing they, something, <laughs> and she started with, that was fun. That was fun. It's and done so I already. was stopping, are we done, done already? already? Are you tired and want to be done? I'm, uh, yeah. And it, it took me a while to understand that, that she's saying that this is fun, and... Is when it? Notice, My memory is really, really sharp. I remember the, some. Currently, when I notice it, that I'll, I'll stop and ask, are we done? And, and kind of... 
you know, start that conversation. Are, are, are we done or, or am I just misunderstanding here? So. Yeah. So, like, to all the people out there, like, even you're really good in English or who, who's still learning in English, don't be, don't beat yourself. There's a no, room English for improvement. pain in the tush There's to learn. always a room for improvement. <laughs> and a lot of Americans don't speak English very well to begin with. Definitely don't be, uh, uh, to any of the Filipinos that are watching this, do not be afraid of practicing. That's true. Uh, you're not going to embarrass yourself any more than most Americans do trying to speak English either. What's it like here in the U.S. though? Like since our our topic is miscommunication is they will not um, correct you what you said. Like they understand because let's say me, English is my third language. They pay a lot of respect to you because they only speak one language. Uh, uh, some, some will. And like most of the people I know, mo most will be really cool about it and understand that, that that you're light years beyond their ability to speak because you do speak multiple, multiple languages. Language. And I like I will say eighty percent of the people I know and like even at work, are like they're really respectful in that. Like yes, given I have clients that's so rude in it, but it's just out of for maybe twenty percent of those. So given, you know, that makes sense. And. When you go over to the Philippines, things will change too. <laughs> the one that I got caught up in and didn't realize it, at a restaurant, we call them napkins, table napkins. And I had asked for a napkin and the waitress was kind of snickering and laughing about it and she would kind of snickered and laughed about it, but it never <laughs> really dawned on me and finally... When, when I came back, I was reading some articles about language and such between there and here. Mm -hmm. And it was one of them that finally told me that in the Philippines, it's called a tissue. That when you say napkin, you're thinking... <laughs> Sanitary napkin. Yeah, yeah, they're thinking pads. And <laughs> it's just, she never really thought to correct me about it. I'm or so, Yeah, you're right. And it just it was kind of an, an interesting on that. And a lot of the the tricycle over there. And when since you've gotten here, I showed you what we think of as a tricycle. Yeah. You know, some little kid rides with three wheels. Mm -mm. And for there, it's a motor transport. And th there's a lot of little things like that that are just stumbling blocks for communication and at times they can be frustrating i agree like on you both raise ends. you yeah some days you raise your voice because some days i'm not hearing it clearly or i'm just misunderstanding it you know make sense and sometimes when i say something i like i'll try to repeat myself again because either you did not hear it clearly or you just didn't know what i'm saying because of how I'm pronouncing the words, you know, like we did it a lot of times. <laughs> and like I say, over the over the three years, we've gotten a lot better with it, and are learning to stop and ask. But there's been times that I've had to ask three, four times to <laughs> for her to explain something. And you're sometimes and she losing. gets she can get extremely frustrated, frustrated with me and, and and start having some issues. Uh, there's times that I've tried to to say something to her. I get frustrated. And it doesn't come across right or whatever. Yeah. And it, it can cause frustration on both sides, but we learn to recognize that and just life try thing. to take it with a sense of humor and move on. Agreed. And just stop and ask, you know, hey, what's going on? I, I, how do you well, understand how do you this? interpret can you, this word? Can you explain this to me in, in your language, you know, in your words? That's true. And you normally pose and explain it to me because I often tell you how do you explain it. That makes sense. And then, yeah, you always find time to explain the words that I'm not understanding. <laughs> it's just funny. It's like I learn a lot like from you. And we're both learning. Very much Like so. having those miscommunication issues help us to grow more and help us to learn more with 
interpretation with the language and not just get mad or me making tampo on that but anyways that would be the next topic so yeah tampo's a video all by itself <laughs> yeah it's a long i will say it's a big you know yeah that, that that's kind of a uh, cultural norm for sulking and they kind of take it to an art form yeah but yeah but i guess that's not really it do you think something if anybody's got questions or has you know wants some in-depth specifics be yeah you know free, feel free you know please comment yeah. um if you've got any specific questions that you'd like to ask either one of us yeah we're more uh, a topic that you might want covered yeah that we would definitely be interested in hearing what you people want to, to hear about the U.S. or Cindy's take on the U.S. or our take on the Philippines. The job or anything. Money or how Filipina spend money or it depends. But that's it. Thank you. Mabuhay. Mabuhay.